there's been little, if any, good news for three days. But this morning, a man who'd flown to Greece to search for his relative found him alive. <laughs> but there are still so many missing, as many as 500, the United Nations estimates. And everyone is looking for someone. <laughs> We've been told stories of passengers drinking their own urine and sucking liquid from melting refrigerators on board because water ran out early into the crossing. Greek social workers say they've heard horrific accounts from some of the survivors they've been looking after. While visiting the hospital yesterday, the story that shocked me the most, at least from the hospital, was that of a man describing to us how he managed to be rescued from the boat. He said that for two hours he was swimming among the bodies of children. There is now a focus on the Greek Coast Guard and questions about their actions on the night. People are starting to ask why they didn't intervene when it was obvious that the boat was dangerously overcrowded. There were migrants on board and therefore almost certainly people smugglers too. At first, the Coast Guard said that they hadn't thrown a rope to the boat. Now they admit that they did. A local lawyer says the authorities might have questions to answer. The ship is obviously in danger. There are just too many refugees on board, which is something that is obvious to those in charge. But despite that, they throw food and water instead of throwing life jackets, rescue vessels, rescue boats. The search operation is now entering its final hours. They found nothing and no one since Wednesday morning. This is the warehouse in the port of Kalamata where they brought the survivors, looked after them, gave them food and water. But they've now all gone. They've been bused to an immigration processing center elsewhere in central Greece. And so this is now empty. And I think significantly the aid agencies have also left. They are not expecting to receive any more survivors. Sky News filmed these pictures of migrants waiting to cross to Europe from the Libyan port of Tobruk this week. It's become a major hub for smuggling operations, and it's the same port that the boat left from before its fateful end off the coast of Greece. Nine Egyptians have been arrested by Greek authorities on suspicion of people smuggling. They'll appear in court on Monday. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News, in southern Greece.